Grade 6 Math number 6.3, Convert Units of Length. A conversion factor is a rate in which the two quantities are equal but use different units. Take the metric system. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we would convert between meters, centimeters, decimeters, kilometers, like that, okay? Tala is making her sister's ball gown wedding dress. She needs 28 yards of white silk for the outer dress. How many feet of silk will that be? Well, one yard is equal to three feet, so all she needs to do is multiply it by three, right? 28 yards, three feet in each yard. 28 times three is 84. There would be 84 feet of silk. Wow, that's a lot of fabric. Okay, if Talon needed 25 meters of the white silk fabric, how many decimeters would she need? Well, one meter is 10 decimeters. All we need to do is multiply the 25 times 10, right? That's an easy one. Metric is easy because we can just do powers of 10. It's 250 decimeters. See, 25 meters equals 250 decimeters. So we can use a chart with the powers of 10 to see how easy this would be. If it's 25 meters, we just multiply it by 10 to go to a smaller unit like decimeters. We can see it would be 2,500 centimeters. If we want to go to a larger unit, like a decameter, we would divide by 10. So 25 meters in decameters would be 2.5, see? And in kilometers, it would be 0.25. That would be the next one over, see? Or I think hectometers is the next one, and then kilometers. So, here we go. Now we'll know for sure. Here's the customary units of length. One foot is 12 inches, one yard is 36 inches. It's also three feet. A mile is 5,280 feet. It's also 1,760 yards, and here are their abbreviations. Foot, yard, mile, okay? But this is stuff you should have learned in third and fourth grade, so you should be okay with this. And then the metric units are millimeters, centimeters, decimeters, decameters, hectometer, and kilometer or kilometer. Now the metric units are used throughout most of the world and they're related by powers of 10 and they're easier to convert than the U.S. customary units because they're all based on 10. It's so easy to say, you know, a hundred of these are one of those and it you can just go back and forth. All you have to do is remember what order they're in, see? And then you could do it by tens. Much easier than remembering that there's 12 inches in a foot and, you know, three feet in a yard. For them, the metric system is so easy. It's just tens, 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 okay? So let's see if we could do this. If we had to do less than, greater than, and equal to, and we had 37 feet and 10 yards, well, we know that there's three feet in a yard. So what we would do is we would either divide this by three to find yards or multiply this by three to find feet. 10 is easier to multiply by three, so we'll do that one. That's the quickest. 10 times three is 30. That would be 30 feet. So we can see that that one's bigger. See how I chose the more compatible number to work with? Okay, now we've got 256 centimeters or 25.6 meters. All right, well, 256 centimeters, there's 100 centimeters in one meter. So if there's 100 centimeters in one meter, how many meters are in here? 100 is one meter. So if there's 256, there's like two and a half meters. There's 25.6 meters here. This is way bigger, isn't it? Mm-hmm. 43 inches or a yard? Well, a yard is 36 inches. So the 43 inches is bigger, isn't it? So if you have to use a chart on the side to answer these questions, then do that. Usually you have a chart in the back of your book. You can find them online very easily. We did not convert between metric and customary units because that is not part of the Common Core, not for sixth grade yet. We may do it in the future, but they're not asking it of us yet. Maybe that's a seventh grade thing. I don't know. We'll see. 
All right? I'll see you next video. Bye.